de Broglie wavelength. Okay, it is an equation. Okay, uh, about wavelength. Uh, this formula, uh, wavelength is equal to h over p. Um, this formula actually we can derive from uh, the one uh, energy equal to h f. Yeah, the about the uh, Planck's Planck's formula. Okay, Planck's quantum formula, and also the formula E equal to m c square. Uh, e equal to m c square. Uh, so, yeah, wrong. E equal to m c square. Uh, if we derive these two, we will get this formula. Okay, you can derive on your own. Okay, we regard the momentum as uh, equal to m v, which is uh, m c lah. Okay, e equal m c. So I won't derive here. So you can um um derive by yourself. Okay. So uh, lambda is equal to h over uh, p. Uh, this uh, lambda, this is a Planck constant h. Uh, the the value is you can find the list of constant. Uh, six point six three exponent negative thirty thirty four, and p is the momentum. Uh, p is called the momentum. Uh, so if you look at this, um, okay, maybe I should write it here. This is the wavelength. Okay, this is the wavelength. And this one is the momentum. Uh, P is the momentum. Uh, what is momentum form what is the momentum formula? Uh, it is the mass time velocity, isn't it? A uh, momentum, momentum is actually mass time velocity. Uh, so if you look here, wavelength is definitely property of wave. Okay, wave property of wave, and momentum is definitely property of Particle because only particle has mass. Uh, only particle has mass. Okay, has momentum. Uh, we talk about momentum of something moving. Uh, of course, we imagine it's a particle moving. Yeah, uh, particle with certain mass moving. Okay. Uh, so if uh, for this de Broglie wavelength formula, it already shows uh, this concept of wave particle duality. Ah, so in one formula, in one formula already has two properties: the wave property and also the particle property. Okay, wavelength and momentum. Ah, so it has wave. This formula already shows wave particle duality characteristic. Yeah, has two properties: have wave properties and particle property. The lambda shows the wave property. The momentum e shows the particle property. And momentum is mass time velocity. Okay. Uh, what I want to uh, emphasize here is this formula, de Broglie. This is what we call de Broglie wavelength formula. Okay, uh, the question will ask you to find the de Broglie wavelength of any object. Yeah, or de Broglie wavelength of the proton, de Broglie wavelength of the electron, de Broglie wavelength of the photon. Uh, okay, de Broglie wavelength of a uh, uh, human. Yeah, yeah. So this formula. Can be used to for any object, for any object, uh, including uh, any big object, uh, uh, big or small objects, even the electron, the photon, even the light, uh, even the light itself. Also, we can use de Broglie wavelength uh, because, um, okay, uh, why? Why we say this? This this uh, wavelength? This this formula? Can be used for any object, yeah, including the light, including the electron, all right. And um, here, however, uh, for photons, for light, for light, uh, to find the energy, energy of the photon or energy of the light, the formula is E equal to h f. Ah, uh, because uh, this which is called the Planck's formula. This is the uh, the Planck's the Planck quantum theory, the Planck's quantum theory, isn't it? Uh, so the um, uh, energy because uh, we we're talking about light, light it doesn't have any other energy. It only has, uh, it don't have kinetic energy. Uh, the light only has energy H uh, F. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, the energy of the light. Uh, yeah, in only yeah each photon. Each photon only carry uh, HF of energy, uh, or we can say HC over lambda. Uh, each photon, so HF HF is only used for energy for a photon. Energy for a photon. Okay. 
uh, for light only, yeah? HF is only for light. Uh, and then, uh, about the kinetic energy, half mv square is only for electron. Uh, so I, I don't want you to mix up that uh, kinetic energy can be used for energy for light, for photon, cannot. Uh? Uh, make sure you don't make this mistake. Don't use the kinetic energy to find the energy for photon. Okay, don't do this. And also don't do this. Uh, don't do take the energy of photon to calculate the energy for electron. Ah, don't do this. Yeah, HF cannot be used to find the energy for the electron. Electron only has kinetic energy. Okay, uh, E equal to HF is only used for energy for a photon. Photon refer to the light. Okay, photon refer to the light. Electron has uh, doesn't have HF. Yeah, uh, we don't talk about. Uh, HF electron is a uh, kinetic energy. Okay, kinetic energy which is half mv square. We use e equal to half mv square to find the energy for this electron. Okay, for this electron, kinetic energy of the electron. Uh, this one is only for electron. Yeah, don't use kinetic energy to find energy for light. Okay, now one more thing. Yeah, Elect yeah that means uh again light. Only use the energy for pho for a photon, which is e equal to hf. Electron only use the kinetic energy, which is half mv square. Okay, half mv square. Don't mix up. Huh? Don't use. Don't cross. Uh, don't use for the other thing. Yeah, this formula. Uh, but the formula, the de Broglie wavelength formula, can be used for both. Can be used for electron. Can be used for light. Yeah, this is general. Yeah, this this one is. Uh, this formula is general yeah general for any object okay now for kinetic energy do you know that this kinetic energy can be related to momentum okay i want to show you some derivation here uh, which is uh, considered important this kinetic energy is half mv square half mv square we know that and momentum is mass time velocity isn't it mass time velocity so what i want to do is i want to put the momentum inside how to put momentum inside first i adjust the formula here is a mass velocity square, isn't it? Mass velocity square. So I put another mass inside. Yeah, I put mass inside. I multiply mass and then I divide by mass. You understand that? Which which, uh, which I mean is um, uh, this k equal to half mv square. What I do is I multiply uh, m over m. We know that m over m, m over m is equal to one, isn't it? Uh, but I purposely multiply m over m. Uh, it's just like multiply one. It just like multiply one has no effect to the has no effect to the equations. Yeah. Uh, I just want to multiply m o m. So it becomes what? It becomes half, and then here become m square, uh, mass time mass. You get m square, and then v square, and then below here you get another m. Okay. Uh, it's just like actually it's just like uh, this mass time uh, mass uh, minus the cancel the mass here. You back to half mv square, isn't it? You back to half mv square, but we don't want to cancel. We just want to maintain. Okay, I just want to maintain like this. So, uh, this one is uh, I, which is this one lah. Yeah, this is the same as this one. See, half m square v square over m. Uh, and then, uh, m this m here here becomes what? Here becomes uh m v square, isn't it? Uh, m m square v square is actually m v square. Right? m square v square is actually mv square. So p is equal to mv, p equals mv, so p equal to mv, so I put inside p here. So become p square. Uh, p is momentum, yeah? So it's momentum square over 2m. Uh, so we got a new formula, a new formula here. Uh, k is equal to momentum square over 2m. Uh, and then we can further derive, I, I need to, I need you to uh, remember, remember this formula, okay? How the kinetic energy is related to the momentum. Understand? How the kinetic energy is related to the momentum. Uh, because why we want to relate the kinetic energy to momentum? Momentum, because I want later I want to relate kinetic energy to the wavelength. Uh, because wavelength is inversely proportional to the momentum. You understand or not? Uh, so uh, uh, now I want to put lambda inside. I want to put lambda inside this kinetic energy formula. How? How do I do that? Uh, how do I do that? Is um, uh, this is something secret? 
something secret yeah so kinetic energy is uh now p or uh, p squared over 2m uh, uh what i can say is like this yeah uh you know uh, p square is actually also yeah i multiply above i get two mass kinetic energy 2mk ah p square is actually 2mk so do you know that momentum is actually square root uh two mass kinetic energy uh yeah p is actually uh uh equal to 2m uh yeah square root 2m kinetic energy uh and then now i can put in the formula for uh, the wavelength okay i put in the square root 2mk into here uh yeah uh, lambda is equal to h over momentum so i can put inside here lambda is actually h over momentum isn't it ah lambda is actually h over momentum uh, so i can i can put inside here yeah i can put inside here so what look at what i get uh, lambda is equal to h over uh, square root 2mk ah so i can relate now i can relate what i can relate the lambda the lambda to kinetic energy directly i can lam relate lambda to kinetic energy uh, so this is uh, the relationship uh, this is the relationship between lambda with momentum lambda with momentum lambda with velocity uh, lambda is inversely proportional to momentum uh, lambda is inversely proportional to velocity uh, and then here we have um, uh, yeah kinetic energy is proportional to momentum square and then uh, lambda is inversely proportional to square root of kinetic energy uh, yeah and then uh, some more we can say that uh, about the acceleration chamber which i will explain later on yeah, the change of kinetic potential energy result in the change of kinetic energy uh, about uh, the q delta v yeah which we will learn the equal to the increase in kinetic energy and you're going to use electron going to use electron this is the potential difference okay so k is equal to ev uh, so we can further uh, uh, put inside this formula and now boom you have another formula this one uh, square root uh, 2m electron volt uh, to relate between the uh, potential difference to relate the between the lambda and the potential difference uh, so this this one i will talk in the next video okay so uh, so these are the formulas that you are going to use but um, uh, don't be worried normally actually i just use this formula just use this formula this one hf kinetic energy half mv square and this also kinetic energy equal to momentum squared over two mass uh, or you can derive by yourself you understand uh, the rest actually you can derive by yourself you actually no need to uh, remember also yeah but the following formula can derive by yourself not really uh, not really need this one is provided in the list of constant okay so later when we watch the problem solving video you will understand why i do this formula okay thank you for watching